Hello, it's Britt with ShirtSpace.com. Today we have another comparison video for you where we take two blank apparel items and lay out all the details so you can make an informed decision about what's the best fit for you, figuratively and literally. This time we're venturing into the magical world of sweatshirts, hoodies to be exact, and these two are some of our favorite. If you want to find out which ones, stay tuned. Up next. Double the hood is double good. You would think, right? Well, not necessarily if you're trying to start your own apparel brand or you need to outfit a large group or organization and the sweatshirts need to be consistent. Well, we're here to tell you all the specs so you can decide which one is the right one to fit your needs. Let's start with the weight to introduce these two sweatshirts. The Gildan G185 Adult Heavy Blend Hooded Sweatshirt is 0.2 ounces heavier, weighing in at eight ounces while the Port & Company PC78H Core Fleece Pullover Hooded Sweatshirt is 7.8 ounces. There are both 50-50 cotton polyester fleece blends with the exception of the G185 that has a few heathered colors that are a 60% cotton and 40% polyester blend. And both these sweatshirts are made from pill-resistant air jet yarn. Both sweatshirts are very similar again in that they both feature double-lined hoods, pouch pockets to keep your phone, wallet, keys, snacks, or whatever and also a matching draw cord to cinch the head hold tight around in very cold conditions. The PC78H has metal grommets around the draw cord holes, the G185 does not. You wouldn't believe it, but they have almost the same amount of color options too. Port & Company PC78H comes in a range of 48 colors, and Gildan's G185 is beat by a hair on this one, with 47 color options to choose from. Now let's talk about price. This is one area where they do slightly vary. The Gildan G185 comes in at a few dollars less than the PC78H. This might be a deal breaker for you if you're working with a budget. And if you're ordering for large bulk orders, keep in mind this can quickly add up. These sweatshirts are also awesome for apparel decoration. If you're a screen printer, you work with heat transfer vinyl, direct to garment printing, or embroidery, you're set to go and craft as you wish. Tie dyers. You might want to continue your search for a sweatshirt that has a higher percentage of cotton so you'll have more vibrant colors for your results. So how do we choose between two sweatshirts that have been almost neck and neck this entire time besides price? Well, I'll give you my thoughts, but just keep in mind it's my opinion, you might feel differently. If you have the room in your budget, I do like the PC78H a little more, but I do wear the Gildan G185 all the time as well. I prefer the PC78H because it's a little bit lighter and feels more comfortable to me, and I also have a longer torso, and this sweatshirt is a little bit longer than the G185. If you still aren't sure what sweatshirt to choose, check out the reviews at shirtspace.com, the best place to visit for all of your blank apparel needs. If you have a t-shirt or sweatshirt or any topic you'd like us to feature, make sure to mention it in the comments below. Also, tell us which hoodie you vote for. Help us settle the score. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and have a good rest of your day.